Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. We recently had a request to make up some lemon meringue pie, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and it fits in really nicely with our most recent recipe, homemade pie shells. I think you're going to love it, so let's get started. We're going to get started here by getting our pie shell ready, and we just made this up yesterday, so if you want a link for it, I'll put it below. Or if you want to make life a whole lot easier, you can simply go to the store and buy one. So what we're going to do is just poke a few holes in here. Lay a good sized piece of aluminum foil over the top and just kind of fold it down over the pie shell. Fill it to the top with some beans and you can use any kind of beans or even some rice for that matter. What I usually do when I finish with the beans is just store them in a Ziploc bag and you can use them again for future pies, but you can't cook them up for beans. Then we're going to slip this into a 350 degree preheated oven for 10 minutes or so. While the pie is baking, don't forget to click subscribe because you don't want to miss a video. After 10 minutes, we're going to pull it out and remove the beans, and if it's a little bit raw in the center, then you can slip it back in for another 5 minutes or so. Okay, let's get started making our lemon pie filling, and to do this, we're going to add a cup of sugar to a pot. Followed by 4 tablespoons of cornstarch, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Grab a whisk and give this a quick stir. Now we're going to add in a cup and a half of water. The juice from two lemons, and this is about a quarter of a cup. The zest from the lemons, and this is somewhere in the neighborhood of about a teaspoon. Give it a stir just to get everything well combined. Now we're going to put this on the stove over medium-high heat and stir it just until it comes to a boil. By the way, what do you get when you cross a cat with a lemon? A sourpuss. Oh come on, I know you guys love corny joke time. Now it's come to a boil, add in two tablespoons of butter and stir it until it melts in. After that, you're going to temper your four egg yolks by adding a little bit of the hot mixture in. Give it a whisk. And gradually add it back into the mixture as you stir. And you're going to continue stirring this until you get a fairly thick consistency, something like this. Alright, you're just going to let this cool off completely. Once the mixture is completely cooled, go ahead and pour it into the pie shell. Now it's time to make the meringue, and this is pretty easy. What you're going to do is beat your egg whites over high speed, just to the point where they become foamy. You can do this by hand too, you're just using a few more muscles. Then gradually add in your 6 tablespoons of sugar. Continue to whisk and let that magic happen until you get nice stiff peaks. Once there are some nice stiff peaks, grab up a spatula and spread the meringue over top of the lemon curd. Now that it's spread out evenly, what I usually do is take a spoon, place it on top and just pull it off quickly. What this will do is give you some nice spikes which will darken in the oven really nicely and it's kind of cool. All right, we're just going to go ahead and slip this into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 10 minutes, just until your cool spikes turn brown. And there you have it guys, our gorgeous and yummy lemon meringue pie. Let this cool for two or three hours and you're good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this a taste test. Mmm, this is so good. It's rich, lemony, tarty. The taste of the lemons nicely contrasts the sweetness of the meringue. This is another must-try, guys. For all the details on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com, and if you want to find out how to make pie pastry from scratch, it's there too. 
Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and most of all subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.